Hi, today I am going to discuss about return on investment. Return on investment, ROI, is a performance measure used to evaluate the efficiency of an investment. ROI can be used as a gauge of an investment's profitability. This could be the ROI on a stock investment or ROI on machine investment in factory. What is ROI? ROI is calculated by subtracting the cost of the investment from the gain value of the investment, which equals the net return, then dividing this net return by the cost of the investment, and, finally, multiplying it by 100. In summary, ROI is net return of an investment divided by the cost of the investment. The result is expressed as a percentage or a ratio. The calculation itself is not too complicated, and it is relatively easy to interpret for its wide range of applications. When ROI calculations yield a positive figure, it means that the total returns exceed total costs. Alternatively, when ROI calculations yield a negative figure, it means that investment produces a loss. How to calculate ROI? For example, an investor purchases automation machine, which is valued at $350,000. The project demonstrates $550,000 net benefit in headcount reduction. What is the ROI? ROI is gain from investment minus cost of investment divided by cost of investment, and, finally, multiplying it by 100. The ROI is 57.14%. The ROI is positive figure. Disadvantages of return on investment, ROI. First, it does not take into account the holding period of an investment, which can be an issue when comparing investment alternatives. For example, assume investment X generates an ROI of 35%, while investment Y produces an ROI of 25%. One cannot assume that X is the superior investment unless the time frame of each investment is also known. It's possible that the 35% ROI from investment X was generated over a period of three years, but the 25% ROI from investment Y was generated in only one year. Calculating annualized ROI can overcome this issue when comparing investment choices. Second, ROI does not consider for risk. It is common knowledge that investment returns have a direct correlation with risk. The higher the potential returns, the greater the possible risk. Third, ROI figures can be overstated if all the expected costs are not included in the calculation. For example, in evaluating the ROI on a piece of machine, all associated expenses should be considered. These include development cost, training cost, taxes, shipping cost and all costs of maintenance. Without including all of them in the calculation, a ROI figure can be grossly overstated. Finally, ROI only emphasizes financial gains when considering the returns on an investment. It does not consider other benefits, such as social or environmental goods. There are many alternatives to the very generic return on investment ratio. The most detailed measure of return is known as the internal rate of return IRR. This is a measure of all the cash flow received over the life of an investment, expressed as an annual percentage growth rate. This metric takes into account the timing of cash flows. Other alternatives to ROI include return on equity and return on assets. These two ratios don't take into account the timing of cash flows and represent only an annual rate of return, as opposed to a lifetime rate of return like IRR. Please like and subscribe my video so that you won't miss out my next video about Lean Six Sigma and Operation Management.